And my biggest concern or, or critique with it at that time was like, well, who's to tell me that the person running the fact checker isn't biased in some way, isn't trying to conceal information. Cause like, if I'm, if I'm an entity that wants to keep information from you, I'll go modify the fact checker that everyone's going to and turn a false thing into a fact. And you know, no one would know any different, right? Like, and that's, that's kind of like where we're, where we're heading to it, where you, where you kind of, you know, described it, right? Because we're going into a place where I feel like, like we're a lot closer to, you know, these models passing the Turing test and everything like that, like than we've ever been before. That's, that's a pretty obvious statement. Like it's not revolutionary or anything like that. Right. But like, I feel like within five years, right, we're going to see that like widespread, but beyond that, right. This kind of model that rules the world, I feel like it's possible. But I also don't think it's necessarily within 10 years, but, and there's a lot of buts in this statement, but I wonder if, you know, this model or whatever model it would be, right? I wonder if it could get so intelligent to the point where it knows its own capabilities. It knows it can proliferate itself throughout the internet, you know, into systems unwittingly or unknowingly to other, other entities and whatnot, right?